whenever you're ready. If you're a student or have some type of job that is demanding, after long hours of work or studying, all you want to do is go home and get in your bed and go to sleep with the hope of getting a good night of sleep and waking up well rested and re-energized. If you have an original spring-loaded mattress, you may be losing out on valuable sleeping time simply because you're lacking the comfort that many are getting by switching to memory foam mattresses. Memory foam mattresses are beneficial to your health and well-being um, than the regular spring-loaded mattress. This is because in a memory foam mattress, um, it relieves stress while sleeping because of the pressure points which a regular spring-loaded mattress is caused due to the um, to basically the coils being being worn out. Memory foam mattresses provide better conditions for the body to sleep, and the regular mattresses provide simply because of the comfort, the durability, adapting to the temperature of the body, and also preventing allergens and parasites that are harmful to the body. Over time, a spring-loaded mattress can cause stiffness and discomfort to the neck or other parts of the body. With memory foam, um, with memory foam, you won't, you won't, um, with memory foam, it won't give out when pressure is applied. It makes for a more comfortable bed. Memory foam is evenly distributed over the weight distributed. Memory foam evenly distributes weight over the surface of the mattress, which alleviates pressure from any other part of the body that makes it easier to go to sleep. The biggest benefit of memory foam mattresses is to allow the body to relax and completely rest. One of the problems in sleeping in a regular mattress is the way the body is positioned. Because, because some springs may be worn out. Most of the time, people need to find the perfect position and try to get comfortable to go to sleep. Unfortunately, since some parts of the body receive more pressure than others when sleeping in a regular loaded mattress, people need to constantly change their position in the middle of the night. This breaks the resting process, so sometimes you might you may wake up in the middle of the night and have to change your position to relieve the pressure caused by the springs and a regular spring or the mattress. Memory foam allows the spine to align more naturally, regardless if you're a back, side, or stomach sleep. Dr. Roger Sperry, Nobel Prize recipient for brain research, states that 90% of the stimulation to the brain is generated by movement of the spine, which he says is a big deal. With memory foam mattress, the weight is equally distributed across the whole body. This means that every part of the body receives equal amounts of pressure. So stiffening and pain most people get when sleeping on a regular mattress is eliminated when sleeping on a memory foam mattress. When you consider the amount of pressure you place on your shoulder and hips, if you're a side sleeper, your neck, if you're a stomach sleeper, or lower back, if you're a back sleeper. This you will realize that memory foam will offer the best chance for reducing pressure placed on your joints by contouring to your body instead of pushing up against it. Now that you know how comfortable memory foam is over, the, over a regular mattress, durability is also a benefit in owning a memory foam mattress. Memory foam mattresses and regular mattresses generally last about 10 to 12 years, however, the memory foam mattress is more durable because it won't cave in as a regular mattress would due to gravity and body weight. Memory foam is also known as viscoelastic foam. It has a unique ability to mold and conform to your body, unlike spring-loaded mattresses would, which they wear out and sink on impact. The conforming ability of viscoelastic foam Take pressure off your joints while reducing pressure to keep from tossing and turning at night. Durability is important in a mattress, but
But being too hot will surely cause you to have a restless night. Tossing and turning, trying to find that cool spot might take sometimes an hour, two hours. In a regular bed, this is an ongoing problem. But in a, a memory foam mattress, this happens no more. Memory foam mattress provide a surface to keep you cool and stay asleep. Memory foam mattress like the ErgoFlex incorporates a cool step airflow system layered over the top of the of the bed that allows air to circulate through a mattress through the mattress, making the body stay at the correct temperature throughout the night. A cooler sleeping environment will help you stay comfortable sleep throughout the night, ensuring that you receive the desired rest. If you think an airflow system and a mattress is cool, then you'll be relieved to know that memory foam mattresses prevent things that can make you sick or aggravate your allergies when sleeping. Memory foam is hypoallergenic, and it prevents dust, dust mites, and bed bugs, unlike a regular mattress, which is more vulnerable to these parasites. The memory mattress is made of polyurethane foam, which is made of inorganic fibers. These fibers preventing allergy-causing dust mites from settling in because there is no food for them to starve on. Organic fibers like cotton attract dust mites that also feed off dead skin in a regular spring-loaded mattress. So memory foam mattresses are a safer option for people to dislike the idea of sleeping on top of little microorganisms. Now that you know the benefits of foam and its comfort ability, durability, pressure adapting, and it being hypoallergenic, this is this is surely more beneficial to your body and well-being than a spring or mattress. While a spring mattress was standard for many decades, foam mattresses are becoming more and more popular due the due to the unsurpassing comfort and overall body support. <clears throat> While spring mattresses can feel nice to sit or lay on, they will not offer anywhere close to the body contouring effect that memory foam offers. Also, spring coils can actually cause a trampoline effect in which they bend inward when pressure is applied. Spring loaded mattresses won't conform to specific bumps and curves of the body as a memory foam mattress would. Memory foam will bring you a great deal of happiness because you'll finally be able to sleep like a baby. So Vanessa, what did you think? Um, I like to set because it's something that you can like all relate to. And at the moment, I'm thinking about going home and sleeping. Um, your eye contact is kind of okay. Like you looked up a few times, but it kind of seemed like you were like reading a lot, which I kind of get because there were like a lot of like bathrooms <coughs> stuff there. Um, but in the beginning, we didn't really hear like a preview of what it was, but we heard it like later on. Like he talked about how they were more comfortable, how they were more durable, and how they were hypoallergenic. So if you could have like moved that to begin to the beginning, like we kind of would have been more clear in like your organization. Um, and I didn't really hear any citations, but I liked it because it was really like something that we all kind of need because we all do need to sleep. We're not like I don't know vampires or something. But um, yeah, but I think if you could have just worked on like the looking up a bit more and like your pacing kind of seemed a bit nervous, you're a bit like rocking from side to side. But it's okay because I do like the exact same thing. Like I like cross my legs and stuff. But yeah. Well, I, I would echo a lot of the things that Vanessa said. I think that the um, uh, visualization at the beginning is okay. That's a good attention device for the audience because everybody you know, needs that kind of, you know, they're thinking of, 
Like she said, she's already dreaming of dreaming. You know, she's thinking about those kinds of things. But you do need a preview a little bit more at the beginning of the speech. I thought it was well organized in the body of the speech because you're basically going through a list of advantages to the uh, subject. The subject a little bit different. Uh, you did have a clear statement of what the purpose is. It's a claim of fact that says that the memory foam is superior or it's better for you. And that's that's fine. Uh, like I said, I, it's... You know, I, I think you could maybe develop the controversy a little bit based on uh, what people uh, buy or what their current uh, mattresses are or if, if there was a little bit more research on it. I understand what she meant. There's not a lot of citation. You give a lot of explanations. It sounds like a commercial. You know, it sounds like you've, you've watched one too many uh, episodes of uh, QVC or HSN <laughs> or, you know, one of those kinds of things. and. You know, I, I spent half an hour absorbing all this information about memory foam mattresses, and now I'm kind of repeating it all, which is good for a sales presentation, but not always good for an argument. And I, I think we need to have a little bit more proof on those kinds of things. You did have the uh, one expert that got cited about, uh, you know, the position of your spine being so important for the way that you think. And uh, I thought, okay, well, there's a little bit of content there, but everything else is just kind of description of what memory foam is supposed to do. And lots of claim, 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 but where's the grounds, 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 you know, so we got a lot of claims and we didn't get a lot of grounds. I thought sometimes you explained ideas uh, well, but you don't always prove those ideas well, and I think that that makes it a little bit thin there. Presentation, at this point, we you should be talking to us, and you're not, you know, you're reading, and you, you need to engage the audience. You, you've got a good voice, but you don't do much to make it energetic or interesting. I think that uh, that's that's an opportunity that's lost because you've got a nice natural uh, voice that I think is appealing to people, but you need to be talking to us like we're people as opposed to just reading in front of us and going through this. And you need to be engaged, and once in a while you need to punch a point or two or you know hit hit a little bit more humor and. and there's nothing horrible about what you're doing. It's just not interesting. And I, there are so many things that you could do to make it more interesting. Your eye contact is, uh, you know, I don't, it, it, at this point in the semester, I should be, you know, taking out a ruler and smacking you every time you don't look up at the audience. And you'd be getting smacked an awful lot here because it just is not right. You need to be looking at us and talking to us. You should only have to look down occasionally to see what the next idea is or if there's a key piece of information that you needed to have and you're, you're reading a lot. And it's, that's not where you wanna be. You wanna be doing uh, better than that. And I know what she meant about all the body movement stuff. I, you've got the nervous feet at first and then you start swaying back and forth and then it's kind of back to the feet. So all of your energy is coming out in your feet and in your body there. All, the, all that's where all the anxiety is. All right, so you need to work on controlling those things. All right, thank you much.